everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, my name is Rika Cosabella from DLSUD ECE31. And for today's Digital Electronics Vlog, we will be having our midterm examinations, which will be all about the overall summary of the basic logic gates, as well as the Boolean algebra laws and theorems, which we will be applying to solve the problems for the examination. So I hope you prepare your brain for logical thinking and I hope you can still remember our experiments from basic logic gates to our Boolean algebra in order to fully understand the logic and principles behind our midterm examination for today. And of course, don't forget to have some critical thinking and to familiarize with your integrated circuits as well as their purposes and uses to be able to perform the experiment. So what are we waiting for? So just stay tuned, chill, and I hope you'll be learning from our episode today. Now, to provide you a brief introduction of our midterm examination, we will be discussing first the objectives. First objective is that we aim to create a logic circuit diagram for a vending machine that functions properly and dispenses to outputs, which will be discussed later on. And of course, our next objective is to be able to apply the principles and the lessons that we learned from the basic logic gates up to the Boolean algebra in order to create the logic circuit diagram and put it into circuit to define the outputs that is needed for the vending machine. So just stay true and keep learning. Now, to provide you the logic behind the midterm examination problem, we will be having three inputs and two outputs. The first input is input A, when the vending machine user successfully press the coffee button. Input B will be when the user successfully press the vending machine T button. And input C means when the vending machine user successfully inserted coin on the vending machine coin slot. So that will be our three inputs for this problem. Now, for our midterm examination problem, we need to satisfy two conditions to obtain the right output. First condition is that when the vending machine user successfully inserted the coin in the vending machine slot and click the right or appropriate button as either coffee or tea, then it will dispense either coffee or tea. But if the vending machine user inserted a coin and click both of the tea and coffee button, still the vending machine will dispense coffee. So those will be our two conditions that we need to satisfy as well as the two outputs that we will be expecting from the problem. Notably, with the negation that we have in our problem, we will be using a NOT gate or a 7404 hex inverter gate for our logic circuit diagram. If you can still remember our experiment one or the basic logic gates, the NOT or the inverter gate, let us invert our output in accordance to our input. So if we have an input of 1, then we will be having an output of 0. Same logic with if we do not press the coffee button, but instead we press the T button, then the output will be T, or the vending machine will dispense T, and vice versa. Now, for the combination, we will be using it to satisfy the second condition, wherein if the vending machine user press both the coffee and the tea button after inserting the coin, then the output will be coffee. 
perform the combination operation in our logic diagram, we will be using an end gate, specifically a 7408 end gate to have the desired output that we need, which is the combination of the input A, B, and the input C. And if you can still remember, an end gate function to perform one or more inputs like we have in the problem to produce a single output. Now, let's start constructing the circuit diagram. Let's first connect a 7408 end gate on our breadboard. Next is our 7404 hex inverter gate, taking note of the notch of the integrated circuit. And our third integrated circuit will be the 7411 triple input end gate to connect all of these three integrated circuits. Make sure that they are connected properly. We will be also using connecting wires, same with our experiments to connect all of our components. Just connect the right pins in accordance to our diagram showed in the video. Our output connected to our 7408 integrated circuit, we will be needing a 360 ohm resistor connected to our red LED, which will be our indicator for our coffee output. These are all connected to our 7408 integrated circuit. Also, for our T output, we will be connecting a 360 ohm resistor to our 7411 triple input end gate. Now, our green LED will be our output indicator for our T output. This is connected to our third integrated circuit. Now, let's not forget to ground all of our components, including our LEDs, so that it will be turned on, okay, if uh, the output will be either tea or coffee, okay. Proper grounding is really important to make sure that the connection is right. So, ground lang natin siya. And don't forget to ground as well our integrated circuits, okay. Again, the grounding is on this last pin of our IC. And don't forget to ground our second IC here. And of course, our third IC here. So let's ground all of those. And of course, let's not forget the connection of our circuit to the voltage supply. Okay, so let's connect it to our VCC here. And let's not forget to connect this IC. To our VCC as well and uh, for the last IC let's connect it to the VCC as well so this will be our connection for our midterm examination for our truth table let's turn on our 5 volt voltage supply when we put input A okay, to 0 input B to 0 and input C to 0 as you can see the output for the red LED is 0 and for the Y is 0 as well now if we put input A to 0 input B to 0 and input C to 1 as you can see the output is 0 as well for the red LED and for the green LED. 
Now, logically, if we put input A at 0, input B uh, to 1, and uh, input C to 0 as well, as you can see, the output for both of the LED is 0, meaning the vending machine will not dispense any of the product, any of the coffee or the tea, because logically, you did not insert it a coin on the vending machine slot even though you pushed the T button now if you're the buyer and if you want to buy T from the vending machine you should put input A at zero okay or input for coffee to zero you should not push the coffee button but instead you should push the T button or put the input B to, to the voltage supply, okay, connect it to our voltage supply, and then insert a coin to the vending machine slot, or connect the input C, or the coin input, to the voltage supply. As you can see, the vending machine will output, or will dispense T, okay, or the green LED turned on, signifying that T will be dispensed from the vending machine. Now, considering our next input, if we put input A to 1 and post the input B and C to 0, okay, as you can see, the vending machine will not dispense any product. Because thinking logically, you did not insert any coin to buy the products. Meanwhile, if you put input A or the input for coffee to 1, or let's say you push the coffee button and the vending machine, and then you inserted a coin to the vending machine, or let's say you put input C, to the voltage supply okay it's connected to the voltage supply as you can see the red LED turned on or this means that the vending machine will output coffee because you pushed the coffee button of the vending machine and at the same time you inserted the coin on the vending machine slot meanwhile when we put input A to 1 and input B to 1, okay, or both of the coffee and the tea button is pushed, but you, uh, unfortunately you didn't insert any coins, of course our output will be zero because obviously you will not get any product if you did not pay or you did not insert any coin on the vending machine. And lastly, to satisfy our second condition, if we connect input A or the coffee input to the voltage supply as well as the T input to the voltage supply as well as the C input connected to the voltage supply meaning both of the coffee and the tea button is pushed and at the same time the buyer inserted a coin on the vending machine slot then let's do it okay then the vending machine will output coffee or it will dispense coffee and not tea okay so that satisfies our two conditions for our vending machine outputs completing our midterm examination. Now, as an overall conclusion and summary for our midterm examination, we really prove the role of the NOT gate and the end gate in our logic circuit diagram just like what we perform from our previous experiments. The NOT gate inverts the output, wherein if we have an input of 1 
then our output will be zero. It is same with our problem we're in. If we did not press the coffee button, then the output will be T and vice versa. When we did not press the T button, then the output will be coffee. So that's the first condition. Meanwhile, as our conclusion, for the end gate, we prove that it is really effective in performing combinational logic circuits such as that with our midterm examination wherein we considered three inputs, namely the input A for coffee, input B for tea, as well as input C for the coins. So we prove that it is really effective in performing one or more inputs to provide a single output wherein it provided an output wherein the vending machine dispenses some coffee when the user press both of the tea and coffee button after inserting the coin. Now, for our recommendations for our midterm examination, I strongly recommend that you make sure that your circuit connection is correct and appropriate. It is also important that you select the right integrated circuits which is specific for your uses just like the NOT gate and the end gate that we use in the experiment. It is really important as well to ground all of your components so that your LED or your output indicator will function properly. And of course, do not forget to review all of the laws and all of the Boolean algebra theorems for you to fully understand the logic circuit diagrams so that you will be able to apply it in real life. So, again, my name is Rika May Casablana from ECE31 of De La Salle University das Molinas saying that I hope you learned from our experiments for the midterm period as well as our examination and I hope you'll never get tired of watching my vlogs and my videos to learn more about digital electronics. I hope you're gonna study well and enjoy dealing with your diagrams and with your circuits. I hope you'll keep safe and see you on my next vlogs. Keep being updated and click the like, subscribe, and the notification bell for you to be updated with my recent vlogs and videos. Keep safe and God bless!